Hello, you beautiful sons of bitches. All right, I'm just gonna quickly explain why I'm rolling weird in this video. So I actually uh, blew out my back last Thursday after the wrestling practice that we posted. I knew my back was feeling weird. I probably shouldn't have done the wrestling practice. I made myself do it because Flo was here and they had cameras on. I talked myself into it. I thought it'd be all right. I didn't get hurt in the wrestling practice. I got hurt after the wrestling practice. I went to sit in my chair to show you guys the setup for Flo and then I felt my disc go out. Okay, I have uh, CAT scans and MRIs from a couple years ago that show I have a herniated disc in my lower back. My L5-S1 is fucked. I normally do a lot of stuff to try to manage it and keep it from getting bad, but because I've been focusing on my wrestling for the upcoming trials, I'm putting a lot of wear and tear on it. So I am rolling weird in this video. Today was me after four days of, you know, prednisone, super strong anti-inflammatories, laying around letting it heal. I wanted to see what I could do, and I wrapped that belt that I have on around me so fucking tight my back can't bend. And if it can't bend, it can't hurt, right? So my thought process was if I can just get through a couple rolls, you know, maybe just be really careful and uh, control the match really well, get some blood flow going, it'll actually help heal it faster, which is normally it hurts until I do actually try to use it again, and then it starts to get better. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. I'm not in normal bus sambo, and I'm not just trying to beat everyone's ass, and I'm being careful. So you guys get a slowed down, technical version of the World Sea Bus Sambo. Yeah, yeah, Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. There's also that weirdo little notification bell. It's going to let you know every single time we upload something. And we upload quite a bit. Some of it's good, some of it's weird. You know, you're going to get the notification either way. It helps the channel grow, it helps us out, and we appreciate the fuck out of every single one of you. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of smoothness being done here. And if you guys want to learn how to pass guard Nogi or in the Gi like this, uh, go ahead and check out Nogi Bus on BJJ Fanatics. You're going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to practice. But I'm not doing anything here right now that I don't explicitly show in the instructional and explain how to do it in good detail. So uh, if you guys are interested, go ahead and check that out. Oh, in the very 
Great time. All right, guys, if you've ever wondered how do I manage to pull off some of the ridiculous bullshit that I do, go ahead and check out our instructionals on bgjfanatics.com. We don't hold any information back when we make an instructional. It's everything we actually do. We cover everything from gi and no gi buzzsaw, how to wrestle your way up to victory, how to assert dominance from back control, even to what sweet nothings you should whisper while you're on their back. And don't forget we have what's probably the most successful knee slice system in the world just sitting up there for free, so you should absolutely go check that out. We also have a Patreon account called Wilty Brothers BJJ, where you can help me and Bird as we try to take over the world with our non-toxicity, alright? We currently have five tiers on offer, and those tiers offer things from uh, early access to videos, to rolling commentaries of your own, to perks in the Discord channel if you guys want to jump in. We have like 700 people in there right now. Absolutely should check it out if you just want to get more involved with me and Bird. And don't forget to check out our Instagram at AndrewRealty46 for some of those sweet, not quite YouTube friendly content. Currently I'm at about 42,000 subscribers and I think Gordon Ryan has 400,000. So uh, yeah, let's get to work on that. And lastly, don't forget to check out our affiliate channel, Pedago Submission Fighting. They offer some fucking seriously good, high quality production content, almost like the Daisy Fresh documentary you watched on Flow Grappling, okay? Professional editing, lots of heart and soul put into this. If you guys aren't watching that channel already, what the fuck are you doing with your lives? And guys, like always, don't forget to eat your fucking Panda Express.